My name is uh, Tony Bignall and I work for Nike uh, Innovation. I'm the Vice President of the Innovation Kitchen there. We're at the Monza Racetrack in Milan. The goal of today was to get as close as we could to breaking the sub to our marathon. A big audacious goal. The current record is just under two hours and three minutes and no one's run faster. We brought these athletes into, uh, into World Headquarters in Beaverton and we track their training and we understand the data and work with their coaches, always listening to, to the voice of the athlete. Uh, the current marathon record is 202.57. People are taking seconds off every time that the, the record breaks. If they can't do it, no matter what piece of footwear I put on your foot, it's not going to make you do it. But there's definitely a synergy with getting the right footwear into the right athlete and we've seen that the footwear definitely can help an already great athlete be even better. But here in Monza we talk about cars being particularly calibrated to the driver and to the design of the car and one little millimeter out makes a huge difference. Well the human being is a finely calibrated machine as well so you want all of your equipment but particularly the footwear because that's what you're on all the time to work perfectly with you, perfectly in synergy. There's three of these shoes in existence for each of the athletes and each one of those shoes is different because it's customized for them independently. So some of the key attributes of the shoe are around the improvement of running economy and how we've achieved that are through this high stack height or high level of cushioning. The foam that we're using is incredibly lightweight and incredibly resilient so there's no weight implication to having all of that cushioning. Another feature is a carbon fibre plate and what that does is stiffens the foot which it therefore limits the fatigue of the foot and actually puts you more of this running downhill kind of stance. We're able to tune this specifically to each athlete. Today Elliot Kipchoge ran 2 hours and 25 seconds for the marathon so knocking almost 2 minutes off the previous world record time which is I think absolutely phenomenal. Now we'll go back to the drawing board and learn for what comes next.